1969 Pontiac GTO, The Judge. The Judge was already a rather special car, but do you think that this one has the standard and, frankly, rather peasantly Ram Air 3 400 cube V8? No. This one has the optional Ram Air 4. That means an aluminum intake manifold, round port heads, 4 bolt mains, an aggressive cam, compression ratio 10.75 to 1, and that monster was rated 370 horsepower and 445 pound-feet of torque. And if you think it doesn't get any better than that, it does. Let's take a look inside. Yep, this judge has a big ol' stick. Specifically a four-speed manual. Outback 390 gears would have been standard, but 433 was optional. This car has a set that's right in the middle. 410. The weight of the GTO really isn't that bad. This car with driver is only 3,642 pounds. In May of 1969, Motor Trend Magazine tested a Ram Air 4 GTO. It had a four-speed manual, 390 rear gears, and it ran 0 to 60 in 6.4 seconds in the quarter mile in 13.9 seconds at 100.5 miles per hour. Didn't I already mention that this thing came from the factory with an aggressive cam? <laughs> Nineteen sixty-eight Pontiac Firebird, and just like the GTO, this car doesn't have just some run-of-the-mill four hundred cube V eight. You're looking at a Ram Air two, and this engine was the predecessor for the Ram Air four. It also has round port heads, which were then revised for the Ram Air four application. It also has stiffer valve springs, a modified distributor curve, of course, the Ram Air intake and they actually have the same cam. However, the rocker arm ratio in the Ram Air 2 was only 1.5 compared to the 1.65 in the Ram Air 4, so it does have a little bit less lift. They do have the same compression ratio, 10.75 to 1, and the Ram Air 2 in the Firebird was rated 340 horsepower and 435 pound-feet of torque. But then we get to the interesting part. GM had some really strange rules at that time about horsepower and weight. No more than one horsepower was allowed per 10 pounds of the car. So the throttle linkage had a restrictor tab and therefore the secondaries could only open 90 percent remove that tab ah you just gained 20 to 30 horsepower if you pontiac fans aren't quite full chub let's take a look inside yep just like the judge big ol' stick four speed manual and also just like the judge out back is a set of 410 gears and suspiciously the weight is also very similar to that of the judge this Firebird, with its driver, is weighing in at 3,630 pounds. If you remember, the Judge was 3,642 pounds. If you thought the Judge was rare, you're not going to believe this Firebird. There were only 110 Ram Air 2 equipped Firebirds produced in 1968. And if you break that down into those with a 4-speed manual transmission, that was only 98. High Performance Cars Magazine tested a Ram Air Firebird in June of 1968. It had an automatic transmission, a set of 390 gears, and it ran 13.83 seconds at 103.58 miles per hour. But keep in mind, that was a Ram Air, not a Ram Air 2, which is a completely different monster. And speaking of monsters, let's see what these cars run on the strip today. <laughs> At the time of filming, the temperature was 71 degrees, humidity 55%, elevation 944 feet, and the barometric pressure was 29.32 inches. Let's check out that first round. <laughs> In the first round, the Firebird ran 12.79 seconds at 112.78 miles per hour, but they got a red light, and that gives the automatic win to the GTO, who ran 12.53 seconds at 113.17 miles per hour. Let's see what happens in round two. Yeah. <laughs> 
In the second round, the Firebird ran a very impressive 12.51 seconds at 113.90 miles per hour. But the judge had such a good reaction time that even though they ran a slightly slower ET, they were able to cross the finish line first and took home the win, running 12.56 seconds at 113.86 miles per hour. And with that, the judge takes home the best of three title. These cars did not run a third round, but a huge thanks to both of the owners for bringing them out. It was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. Catch you guys at the next one.